family look oh gosh i've been working hard here at the hobby farm i want to show you all and encourage you all uh to go out and you know discover yourself and manifest the things you want right now i'm working on mosaic tile i'm going to do the whole entire front porch like this and then afterwards i'm going to paint okay and I'm going to replace most of the windows uh, on the house. I'm going to do this myself, okay? And I want to teach, excuse me, I'm sweating. I want to teach all of the women out there how to manifest. And I'm teaching by example only. If you don't see me with it, I'm going to do my damnedest to get it. But I'm not going to be wasting my time telling you all how to do things or how to buy things I don't have, okay? So I want you all to follow me around the house because I know this is encouraging a lot of women out there. You know, you do not have to live in an apartment for the rest of your life. Did you hear what I said? You don't have to live in an apartment for the rest of your life. Take your money and manifest what you desire. Here's the shed I was telling y'all about. This is the shed. This is why I make it happen right here. This is why I make it happen. This is not to brag, but this is to encourage women. You can do this too, okay? I still have the house that I inherited from my adopted parents in Birmingham, Alabama. It's, a, it's just rented, okay? The house is being rented. Guess what? All of the cash that I get from the house that I inherited, I use it to further work on the house in the country. Hello? You can do it too. It's not much of anything but it is suitable for me and my husband, okay? Because that's all I have to take care of. And that's all he got to take care of me. And I take care of him. We take care of each other, okay? I know it's hard out there for y'all. But I want to teach you how to do things on a budget. This was a foreclosure. Mama paid only $21,000 for this house and I got two and a half acres. I paid $21,000. Not bragging, I'm just telling y'all, I want to teach you all as witches how you can manifest too. If anyone is trying to teach you and show you, uh, once again, how to manifest, how to prosper, always, Look at what they have. You understand? Before you decide to take any of their courses, classes, or take their word for absolutely anything. You know, just, just make sure you are doing your due diligence. Hello? Okay? I'm teaching by example. Okay? And I know it's hard for a lot of women, but I'm telling you, by the time you are spending all of this money in these apartments... You have wasted so much money because you can actually get a mortgage on your house for the cost of a, 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 a monthly payment on an apartment or a rental on a home. I refuse to rent unless it's a, some type of emergency circumstance. I paid $21,000 for that house and still own the one in the city. I'm not bragging, I'm just teaching you all that you too can metal pay. Hello? Okay? Now, don't listen to nobody when they sit up here tell my courses and classes. Like I had one guy talking about he's going to teach me how I can prosper and buy a Mercedes or some shit like that. And, and guess what he did? He got in a Pinto. This was way back in the 80s. He got, a, he got in a Pinto and left after, you know, teaching us that we could. That was back when they was having those pyramid skids, schemes. Now, that's just like my hair. I'm not going to let a person that has a relaxer in their hair, nothing against people with relaxers, 
but I'm not going to let a person with a relaxer in their hair do anything to my natural hair. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to allow anybody that's uh, not putting anybody down that's in, a part, in an apartment. My, uh, both of my daughters actually live in an apartment, okay? But they are striving to save money because they want to buy, buy them a house. Uh, uh, my oldest daughter right now just landed a, 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 she's a social worker. She landed a job with the government where she'll be working for Social Security. What I'm saying, where she will be. She's there now. She's Her salary now is right at 55000 She just started a job last week. Y'all remember when she graduated from the University of Alabama. Uh, but anyways, um, I was trying to encourage her to become a psychologist because we need a lot of African-American female psychologists right now. You know what I'm saying? We really do. I was telling her, honey, I'll be coming there uh, uh, for therapy sessions. I, I feel like everybody can use therapy, even the therapists and the psychologists and the doctors and the nurses have therapists. You know, because to some extent, we all are dysfunctional. Not trying to put anybody down or whatever. We're all dysfunctional. We've all come from dysfunctional places here in the United States of America. No one is perfect. You understand? So I was trying to encourage her. I said, won't you do, um, become a psychologist? But she decided to become a social worker. So she's a social worker for the government. And she's she, she'll top out at 65000 She'll be making, for the first six months, right at 50-something. And then you know, go on from there. And I, I want to encourage you all out there that you can manifest and do the same. You understand? But it all starts out with making sure your children get a good education. Your children need to be in the best schools you can put them in, especially African-American children, because African-American public schools are some of the worst. I am not perfect. My children actually went to African-American public school systems. The education sucked. But they all managed to get a real good education and go out into the workforce. Well, you know, my son went out into the workforce, but my daughter's, you know, one is in college. She's fixing to complete the nursing program in about a couple of semesters. And the other one actually graduated and she's a social worker. She, she actually graduated with a psychology degree and went back to get her uh, master's in psychology. I mean, in, uh, in uh, social social, what do you call it, social working or something like that and landed this job. I'm very happy for her. She was working as a lib at the library as a librarian, but my son's uh, girlfriend uh, which is a fiance because they, 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 the wedding plans are in the making. She's actually a librarian. But anyways, you know, I I'm saying this not to brag, but I'm saying this it's important that your children get the best education they possibly can get please you understand I'm pleading with you this is your children's future without an education your children are doomed they're lost they don't have a future okay um, so uh, like right at this point right now women if you have children it's okay spruce yourself up and look beautiful but the competition is over once you have children, it's no longer about the kids anymore. Hope this is a lesson learned. This is a lesson learned wisdom video. The <clears throat> investment should not go into yourself. It should go into your children. It's no longer a need to compete with other women once you have children. The competition is to teach. The whole idea is to teach your children how to compete in the workforce. You understand? That's what you should be investing in. Not in your beauty. Because beauty is temporary. Okay? I was young once upon a time. And I still feel like I am young. You know what I'm saying? You never get too old. You know, I never will forget when I hit 40. I thought I was such an old person. You know, I'm old and wisdom. But I realized how young I was. I'm still young. Because there's still people that are older than me. Over me. I have a mad respect for my elders, and I would never disrespect an elder. Never. Because that's how you catch your blessings, cut your blessings off, especially when you when you go in against your mother. That's something I would never do. My adopted mother and adopted father, they I I never ever disrespected them. I just could not cuss my mom and 
I couldn't do any of that. Most people have a life of turmoil and hell because they are disrespectful to their mothers. And they cannot manifest the things that they want because they have no respect for their mothers or their elders. So uh, witches out there, spiritualists, I'm hoping that this is a lesson learned. I think most, most of my family already know that they shouldn't be disrespecting their elders or having disrespect for their mothers. I think you all already know that, don't you? I would never disrespect my birth mother or my adopted mother. Never! Okay? To disrespect my mother, my adopted mother, even her, is to disrespect God and to disrespect myself. I'm hoping y'all learning something from this, okay? This is wisdom I'm teaching you right now. Because to have respect for your mother is to manifest all of them things you talking about you want that you ain't produced yet. Look, by the time you hit 40, you're supposed to have a good game plan and you're supposed to almost have half of what you want by the time you hit 40. You know, and I know it's real hard out here, women. You know, like the state of Alabama, you can't get Section 8 in the state of Alabama unless you got minor children. Your children have to be under the age of 18 to receive Section 8. Very difficult to get, okay? You gotta have children on the, under the age of 18. That's if you can still get on the program and qualify. And if you're married in the state of Alabama, you can't get Section 8, okay? So, in a sense, that might be good for a lot of people because it makes you strive harder to get things that you want. I could never get Section 8 because all of my children are over 18. They're grown. I don't have grandchildren or anything like that. They're all grown. They got their own places. And I'm married. So, that, is, that, that, that should make you strive even more. Sometimes these social uh, uh, programs stifle us, depending on social programs and stuff. But if you're on it, have a game plan. If you're going to get on these programs like Section 8, they have a program where you can actually purchase your house. So while your children are under the age of 18, try your damnedest to purchase the house. They have a Section 8 purchase program. There's nothing wrong with being on it. The problem is depending on it for the rest of your life because when your children get 18, I think this is for the whole entire United States. You're going to be kicked off. Hello? So I'm not here to bash anybody that's on it. I'm just saying, hey, make the best out of it. Build you a business, you know. Purchase your home. Do all you possibly can because those programs will be getting cut off pretty soon. You understand? Your children, they grow up in a snap. The main thing I want you to do to stop bragging on, you know, women, I'm just saying, I'm just talking to black women. A lot of times when black women have it, we have a tendency to compete with each other. I don't think we should be, keep, be competing with each other when we have children. You understand? We need to be teaching our children once again how to compete for these uh, uh, college programs like the nursing program, the med medical uh, uh, school program. We need to teach them how to compete. To get those things you understand how to qualify for uh the like i say for all of these programs that are very competitive to get in that's where your energy should be going to teaching them how to compete in the workforce and how to build businesses and 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 franchise and how to become an entrepreneur now an entrepreneur okay shift it from that because your body is going to change once you hit 40, you get that old bulging belly. I can tell you, because I'm older than most of you all. And that, that, that belly does not go anywhere. Because as you grow older, you secrete less estrogen and progesterone. A younger woman in her 20s and her teens is going to secrete more progesterone and estrogen. And she's going to have a slimmer figure. Her stomach is going to be thinner. You understand? But as you began to approach 40... And you get up to where I'm at, late 40s. You can forget about a slim belly unless you just got some good DNA. And 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 and, and, and stop worrying about a man looking at you and finding you cute because you're gonna get old. You're gonna wrinkle all up. What you gonna do when the children get grown and you start getting pudgy and fat? What you gonna do? It's all about what you investing in your children from this point on. Because your, your children is one of the greatest invest, investments you can invest in. Forget about investing in land and property and uh, portfolio, having a portfolio full of uh, 
CDs and and and, and uh, all of the stocks and bonds. Uh, uh, forget that. But the, the best investment is your children, because they are your insurance. That's the best best insurance you could ever invest in. Okay. Making sure those, those children get one of the greatest education. I'm talking to all of my witches out there. Make sure your children are in the top schools. If you do have your children in public schools, go the extra edge, the extra mile, I guess. Go over the edge and teach them a second language. You understand? Some children can't even speak English. Some people can't even talk. Some children can't even talk. They can't even talk. They, ha they have no future. They can't even talk English. Can't even talk. And then that you were robbing that child of a future. They cannot go out in the workforce. And, and, and I can't even get words out. They can't even go out in the workforce and do absolutely nothing. Why? Because they can't even talk. Um, a lot of these jobs require that you have good, that you can articulate yourself well when you're speaking to people, especially when you're in uh, customer service. You got to know how to talk. So like I say, if your child do know how to talk good, correct English and grammar, teach them a second language, and that should be Spanish. 10 or 20 years from now, if you don't know how to speak Spanish, you're going to be living in a foreign country. And I don't care if you are from the United States of America. This is a foreign country. This is a Spanish country. Hello? I got some chicks uh, a couple of years ago. It was written all in Spanish, and I, 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 I didn't even know what I was reading. How did I wind up with some Spanish chicks from the bank? A lot of the times when you read your instructions, the first side of the instructions is written in Spanish. Teach your children Spanish. Take your children on a horseback ride. ride. Listen, listen to me. I, got, I don't have much time. Take your children on a horseback ride. My adopted mother and father sent me to camp every year. I went to Camp Cosby. I learned how to canoe. I learned how to go fishing, boat riding. I, horseback riding. My, my my favorite horse was Agnes. She was a white horse with polka dots. Teach your children. We used to go uh, scuba diving and snorkeling. We went to trips, vacations. We went all over the place. We went to Alaska. My mama gave us all of this. We went to Alaska. We went to Hawaii. Oh my God. We've been all over the place. My adopted mother gave us all of that. You understand? And even though she wasn't perfect, there's no way I would talk about that woman as she rests in her grave because she did the best she could with us. She enlightened me. That's why I learned how to do the violin, why I learned, and I'm still taking violin classes today. Put your children in violin classes. Send your kids to camp for the summer. Don't allow your children to stay in the house all day. If you don't have the money, uh, witches. Take your children to the park. Let them play at the park. Let them run around the track. Let them play basketball at the park. Let them swing on the swing set. Let them play with the balls that come from Walmart, $2.50. There's no excuse. You don't need money. You can rent bikes out in the downtown area. I know in the downtown area here, you can rent bikes and ride bikes around. You can rent a scooter out for God's sake. You can go. We used to go kayaking. I used to do archery. Hello, it's, invest in your children. Fuck your appearance. Okay, it's okay to look nice, but don't go put that before your kids. Oh, for my God's sake. If I had grandchildren, every last one of them would play the instrument that they want to play. Because who knows? They might, may wind up in a symphony or an orchestra. <sighs> And I, I have a lot of regrets that I didn't do a lot of the things that I'm talking about right now, this very moment. My daughter's telling me some of the things they wanted to do. My daughter was like, oh, mama, I was in jump rope and roping and gymnastics, but what I really wanted to do was the violin. My youngest daughter was telling me some of the things she wanted to do. My son was telling me, you know what I'm saying? You can't do enough for your kids. So pay attention to your children and get your ass out this goddamn, these damn houses and apartments for the love of God, witches. Well, I don't know. I don't have to tell witches that because y'all know that. On a summer day, beautiful, well, spring day like this, no child should be sitting in the house. 
They should be outside. You should be supervising those children, especially if they're under the age of 18. Supervise your children. Take them to the mall. If you don't have money, just say, hey, look, you know, just y'all, let's just sightsee. Let's just see what's here. Okay? I'm hoping that this is a lesson learned. I want to talk more about manifesting. Okay? I want to teach by an example. And if you are a powerful witch, your children should be in some of the best educational programs. They, each one of them should be taking classes from, with some musical instrument. They should be learning art. They should be learning how to paint. They should be learning dance. They should be learning how to swim. They got public community swimming pools that you could take your children to for a buck. Some of them free. Some apartment complexes have free swimming pools. Some com some uh, 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 subdivision community homes have swimming pools, country clubs. They have all of these things. I want to go deeper into this. Like I said, I'm teaching my example. I want to teach you that you can purchase a house for $10,000, 21000 too. I had a little bit of work I had to put into it. Still putting work into it. I want to do mosaic tiling on the floors and stuff and that's a lot I want to do here at the hobby farm I want to show you women that you can do it too you don't have to have a whole lot of money to purchase no house I purchased mine for 21 grand and the land itself is worth that and I got two and a half acres and I'm not bragging you can do this too you could do even better don't go out and buy two hundred three hundred thousand dollar house you cannot pay off it, it ever in your life don't do it okay and I'm hoping that this is a lesson learned, okay? I want you all to continue to follow me. Um, a lot of you all, since I did the last manifestation video, enjoyed it. And a lot of you all reached out and say, hey, mama, I want to learn your classes. Uh, can you please squeeze me in there and everything? And I'm working on it right now. And I haven't forgotten about you all. And like I say, you too can be an entrepreneur, okay? Bye-bye.